Microsoft, Amazon, and Oracle are all investing heavily into nuclear-powered data centers. <laughs> They're having such a hard time finding enough electricity, not just cheap electricity, but enough electricity period, to power their AI gobbling data centers that are just filled to the brim with NVIDIA GPUs and the like that just, they have more NVIDIA GPUs and related AI hardware than they can currently power in many of these data centers. That's how serious the lack of electricity is for these companies. They, they are just, they're just gobbling down crazy amounts of power in these mega, mega data centers. So Microsoft, just this last week announced that they've signed a deal to reopen Three Mile Island. <laughs> that Three Mile Island, the, the one with the giant meltdown, the biggest nuclear disaster in United States history, th that, that Three Mile Island. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Three Mile Island. It still has one good reactor. <laughs> so it can crank out some serious juice because it's still a big old nuclear reactor. So Microsoft has partnered with a company that came in and bought Three Mile Island about a little over 20 years ago. And they signed an exclusive deal where Microsoft's paying a ton of money. And they've got a 20 year deal where they get all that power from Three Mile Island. Right. And uh, and they're going to they're going to whip that up and, and power that up. And it's 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 massive. I mean, this is this is massive. In theory, Three Mile Island will then be open to to uh, working with other companies and and uh, other locales later. But it's 20, 20 years long. And they said that the power use that that Three Mile Island will be pumping out the power could power 800,000 households in the United States, except it will all be going to data centers. Think about that for a moment here. 800,000 households, but that will be generated not for households, but for data centers in uh, the Pennsylvania, a uh, Chicago, Virginia and Ohio areas. That's it. These are not the largest Microsoft data centers. These are not the bulk of the Microsoft data centers. This is a small fraction of the data center energy needs of Microsoft, and they will be using 100% of the output of Three Mile Island in order to generate it. Just to put that into perspective, 800,000 US households worth of electricity, that means that you have enough electricity to power all of the homes in the state of Idaho. <laughs> but instead of the entire state of Idaho, it's going just to a handful of Microsoft data centers. That's how much electricity we're talking about here. Uh, to, to put that also in, in comparison, that is about the amount of electricity usage of the homes in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Alaska combined. Almost. It's crazy. It's crazy the amount of electricity they're pumping out. And Microsoft has, has been going all in on this. It's not just that they made this one investment. Uh, they're working with a bunch of other companies, including BlackRock, to develop as many different mechanisms for electricity generation as they can near their their data centers so so much so that they hired in a, a director of nuclear technologies think about this for a minute microsoft the company that makes word and dos <laughs> and windows and xboxes they hire they hired uh just this last january a director uh, a guy named Archie uh, Mano, Mano Heron. Mano Heron? Mano Heron? I, I don't know how to say your name, Archie. My apologies. They hired him as his official title is Director of Nuclear Technologies. Microsoft, the, the company that, that, that started by making, making BASIC for Altairs, now has a Director of Nuclear Technologies because they need so much energy to power their AI predominantly coming forward data centers that they need nuclear reactors and they might need a lot of them. That is wild to me. That is absolutely wild that that is happening. And they're not the only one. Um, Oracle. Oracle. <laughs> 
<laughs> just just this a couple weeks ago, they could smell that Microsoft was going all in on the nukes and they started hiring people to run their nuclear program too. Um, this this by the way, this reporting, I should give a massive kudos to datacenterdynamics.com. They're a uh, they're a data center news website and they have been doing the best reporting on the energy plans of these data centers that I have seen. In fact, some of the only really good quality reporting that I have seen on the energy usage of data centers is coming from datacenterdynamics.com. Uh, fantastic work. Really fantastic work. Lots and lots of details, lots of facts. They put it in perspective. They, they've done fantastic work. High, highly recommended. If you're interested in, in data centers and how much infrastructure they're really using datacenterdynamics.com i have no affiliation with them i don't know them but i've been watching their reporting and it's just been phenomenal um so they reported uh just a couple weeks ago that oracle is building small nuclear reactors to power their data centers right so uh, larry ellison announced this recently just a couple of weeks back uh oracle is planning to build a gigawatt scale data center powered by three small nuclear reactors smrs according to founder larry ellison cto and chairman ellison told investors during an earnings call this week that orica currently has 162 cloud data centers in operation or under construction globally the largest of which has a capacity of 800 megawatts and is set to house nvidia gpu cluster 800 megawatts gigawatt data centers holy heavens that's a lot a lot of juice i i, I just it it boggles the mind uh I know some of you work in some of these massive data centers, so you know just how much power is is used at these things. It's just it's just off the charts. So Oracle's going all in on nuclear as well. And so is Amazon. Amazon Web Services. Check this out. Amazon Web Services, AWS is hiring is hiring. They haven't hired theirs yet. Uh, at least not as of a couple of days ago, a principal nuclear engineer to join its data center engineering power generation solutions team. They've got a whole team de dedicated to generating electricity for data centers, and they need a principal nuclear engineer. <laughs> um, uh, the job uh, listing mentions working with external partners to influence the design of operationally efficient and safe nuclear, safe modular nuclear plants to support its growing cloud power demands. The hire expected to have experience with the design and operations of both utility scale and small scale SMR nuclear power plants and will build the internal and external nuclear product and fuel strategy roadmaps for AWS data center. I want to call out a one particular thing here. That person will drive the internal nuclear power product and fuel strategy romance. Yeah, nuclear internal Amazon nuclear product. We are in a situation right now, and I call it a situation because I find it terrifying having worked at both Microsoft and Amazon in my career. The idea that the people that work at Amazon and Microsoft will have control of nuclear reactors is terrifying to me. Uh, I'm not anti-nuclear reactor. I'm not necessarily pro-nuclear reactor either. I'm just like, I'm like, it exists. And I think it's interesting. But the idea that the people that I used to work with would have any influence whatsoever over nuclear reactors is is horrifying. Uh, the, the, the people that released software with so many bugs, I it boggles my mind more than just a little bit. I am... Uh, what is amazing to me here is this. This is all just the beginning. They are going to generate in order to power all of the AI only data centers in the United States. They're going to have to generate more electricity than every household in the United States currently consumes. Think about that for a moment just for the AI centric data centers. The, the amount of, of electrical usage here is absolutely massive. Once again, uh, that three mile island nuclear reactor one can, can power say North Dakota, South Dakota, and, and part of a neighboring state, all of the households, right? Not, not necessarily the, the, the factories and whatnot running, but all of the homes. 
that's amazing. And that will just be going towards a few data centers in a few states. Microsoft's larger data centers are not in those states. And Microsoft, that represents a tiny fraction of the total Microsoft data centers. And that's just for Microsoft. Apple, Google, Amazon, Oracle, and so many others are spinning up data centers faster than you can count. Uh, I, I remember before the AI craze started, I used to live in, in Washington and in or the state of Oregon. And there were several massive data centers located on the Columbia River that runs between Washington State and Oregon State. And the reason there were several massive data center there is, is one, because the energy was relatively cheap at the time. Lots of hydropower from the hydropower dams, and that electricity was fairly cheap at that moment. And the second was that they could use the water from the river as a constantly moving source of coolant to keep those those data centers cool because you have that much electricity running through that many computers and that many GPUs. imagine how hot some of the high-end nvidia gpus get when you're playing a, a game right I, those of you who have a high-end nvidia gpus you know how much you have to think about the fan that's on everything and the fan placement and the fans within your tower to keep it cool keep it from overheating now shove that into small, you know, one and four U rack units, multiply that by like a bazillion. And you can imagine how crazy hot the massive amount of heat that goes into that. So they save a great deal of, of electricity usage by not needing to use quite as much air conditioning. They can use a lot of water coolant from the river there. Now that's not a possibility in most locations where these data centers are stored. So not only are are they having to not have the relatively cheap and relatively plentiful hydropower of that particular location, but they have the extra added electrical usage of all of the air conditioning that those needs. And that's that's a ton of AC. Anyone who lives in the South knows that the, the AC usage can really jack your AC, your, your electrical bill through the roof. And when you're talking about, you know, having, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of GPUs generating that much heat 24 7 it, it, it boggles the mind the amount of electrical usage so this this three mile island story while it's kind of the funniest because microsoft essentially buying three mile island they're not they, they have a they have a 20-year deal on on the the output from it but it's ms three mile island tm that's hilarious. That's a funny thing to me. Uh, I don't know personally if I would want my company name associated with Three Mile Island. Uh, that's a branding problem. But this is the first of many stories that we will hear over the next several months of small nuclear reactors and even large scale nuclear reactors spinning up. There's multiple nuclear reactor projects throughout the country. Uh, many people in Washington state will, will remember, whoops, uh, look that one up of uh, there of just never spun up nuclear power plants. There's, there's several of those throughout the nation. I think I can guarantee that all of these companies and many others are looking into what it would take to purchase those or contract with someone to spin up those failed nuclear power plant projects because they need electricity wicked wicked bad and you're going to find these uh these data centers are going to be placed right next to these nuclear power plants all across the country there's just no other way to pull this off there's no other way to generate enough electricity to power the AI demands that these companies have already committed to, and in many cases have already purchased most of the hardware for. There's no other way to do it. So we're going to hear a lot more stories about spinning up nuclear power. We're going to hear a lot more stories about a lot of power options, realistically, wind farms, solar farms, all of it. Um, but they need it fast, they need it cheap, and they need a lot of electricity. And that's why we're seeing these companies start to hire principal nuclear engineers and directly director of nuclear technologies wild absolutely wild I, I what's going to be interesting to see is what happens 
if they spin up all of these nuclear plants and all of these nuclear reactors to power these data centers, mostly for artificial intelligence usage, and what if the AI bubble then bursts and they start decommissioning all of these data centers because they can no longer afford them because the AI bubble burst? What happens to those nuclear power plants and nuclear reactors then when there's no longer sufficient funding to maintain them? It's an interesting concept. It's something worth thinking about. Uh, I, 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 my mind is, is reeling from all of it, but I do want to say thank you to Microsoft for nothing else than giving us MS3 Mile Island TM. That's amusing to me. Uh, and thank you to again to datacenterdynamics.com can keep up the good reporting on this. Uh, this is an important and really interesting topic. Uh, probably one of the more interesting things to happen to the world of data centers in, in quite some years. And uh, uh, thank you to all the subscribers at the Lunduke Journal for making what I do possible as well. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare. <laughs> End broadcast.